Hey there, welcome to the complete Skyrim fishing guide given to you by KeenGamer.com. It's a fantastic mechanic recently added to fantastic game Skyrim. Now let's get to it, right? So here we are, this is how we begin. If we're just outside of Honeyside, House Player Canone and Riften, where you can find a fishing rod and a fishing spot. Does not have to be here, just figured why not start your quest lines right here. If you equip your rod like it's a sword. Now here's a fishing cast, just simple button pressing, and those splashes are fish. If you get that, it means you have a good chance of getting a fish and not snagging on an item. Those little bobbles can indicate what kind of fish you're going to catch. In the end, it really doesn't end up mattering because you get one fish per cast and more than likely you're just going to reel in whatever's there. The now, catching a fish will waiting. start a quest called Angler Acquaintances, which Here, directs the player to, to the Rifted Don't Fishery. Ask, just take it. So this is one of the people we're meant to speak with. It's a nice lady named Berea. Now she gives you this quest line of fishing bounties. This first one is her own. She needs a juvenile mud crab. They can be caught in a variety of places, both with the fishing rod and also you can just reach out and grab them in certain places. I made sure to show both, so if they spawn like, like any exterior the creature NPC oh. around water sometimes. That one is shown it first, so. then I show a, an example of catching one with the fishing rod. They can be Thanks. caught in a lot of freshwater areas. I think I caught one in East March, also I'm caught waiting. them in Hial March. I think I found that Hial March actually you know, is the best spot way. for it, but That'd I think I show East March here. He carries all sorts of things like that. Yep, so this is mm -hmm. the second person the player is directed to. This of guy course. named Swims in Deep Water. He gives you this quest line of fishing challenges that in which you've just gotta anything. go catch some fish gets harder as it goes on, but no worries, I have covered every one of them. So that completes Angler Acquaintances. Now, Swims in Deep Water and also writes these fantastic books, which I'm going to show you in a second, and they're called Fishing Mastery. So they're actually in that room to the left there. This is just a list of, of the first set of fish that he wants you to go catch. They are fair weather fish. Fair weather is sunny to, to mild weather without any precipitation. So here's a copy of Line and Lore. That's kind of a how-to fish guide. And this Fishing Mastery book will contain the first set of fish that, that we need to catch and instructions on where to find them. So I highly re recommend grabbing those. A new one will spawn upon completion of each quest in his quest line. So now we're starting Variah's quest line. Her first quest is in a pinch, where we've got to get her the juvenile mud crab. There is a quest marker for this one, so I'm just going to show you where that is. Yep, and that's what a juvenile mud crab looks like when it's just out in the wild. And now I'm going to show you what one looks like when caught with a rod. It functions just like any other fish. You get the splashes, and if one's on, this is what it will look like. Yeah, a couple of inconsistent grabs at the hook. Then yank it in. Hmm? Now back to Varia. Thanks. Couldn't have done that without you. I'm grateful for your efforts. Here, take And this. complete in a pinch. Now we're going to get the next culture. quest in her line. It's all in this note. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we've got to obtain a glass fish. This is for Zaria in Falkreath. She is the alchemist there. Alright, so here we are. Just a bit north of Golden Glow Estate on Lake... Honrick. Yeah. And the weather is fair as you can see. 
There are the splashes. And one, two, and there's the hook. And this is a glass fish. Someone who can get things now we're going to deliver it to Zuria and Falkreef. And as a reward, she gives you this little side mission. Maybe you can help me. So apparently one of the Falkreef guards has a skooma problem. And the reason for obtaining this glass fish was to mix a invisibility potion to put into a skooma bottle and trick him into drinking to teach him a lesson. Yep, so new? now I agree to Thank help you. her with that. Here, this is for you. Good luck out there. And this it? here is our skooma addict guard. Of course. So all you've got to do is tell him this is skooma. Obviously, no one's supposed to have it. So could you lock it up? You can follow him down See, here. I can almost taste it. And there he goes. Someone new? Perhaps someone... Now return to Zuria, and she will reward Here's you with, reward. I believe, an enchanted ring. Need yep. Something? Now return to Varia, and You're she'll the have the next quest for you. Mm -hmm. Now, the next quest is to obtain a goldfish for Camila, who lives in White Run. The quest is called Heart of Gold. So one of the many places that you can find the goldfish is this pond outside of Stony Creek Cave. There are multiple goldfish quests, so I showed you how you catch one of a rod here, and I'll show you how you reach out and grab one later. So goldfish are one of the only pond fish, like it you know, like a pond as opposed to a lake is a lot smaller, so you tend to find them in any small, that closed body of water. Should I keep him? Please? You're the best. Thanks. Yep, you give it to Mila here, and she'll run over to the side of her house where she has prepared a little aquarium. And there we are. Thank you. Here, this is for you. Oh, Out with and it. small reward. Now back to Varia again for the next on. one. It's all in this note. Until next time. Next is to compete in a fishing contest. So this guy named Brutius, who lives in Morfall, has challenged the recipients of this bounty to a fishing contest. The quest is called No Contest. As you Maybe can see quick. there, here is Brutius. Yeah. How much? Yep, you make a wager. I chose the biggest the one. I was pretty confident. Thousand gold. Wheels. Here's where you need to go. Yep, so it's not in the city, it's a little bit outside, shown there. So you wait a little while, then he shows up. And surprise, this isn't really a fishing contest, it is an ambush. So he works alongside these two, I guess, bandits. Yep, bandits. Now the player must search him for an explanation as to what's going on here. He has this journal on him. Yep, so what's going on here is essentially him and these bandits are running a con here to challenge someone to a fishing contest, lead them here outside the city, then ambush them. And apparently he's lost a valuable piece of jewelry, which now the player must fish up. So this time, the player is trying for an item rather than a fish. One thing you might try to increase your, your odds of getting an item instead of the fish is just to fish the spot dry until it, the splashes no longer appear. That means you have no chance of getting a fish, it will only be an item. 
There was the ring. Now we're turning to Variah to get the next All quest. This, note. this won't be easy, but that's why I'm sending you. Think you can handle it? Thanks. Good luck out there. Yeah, so this next one is about mud crab attacks. Apparently near Dawnstar, they're having some problems with mud crabs attacking, I guess, citizens. So the player must go and investigate what's going on here. It's called Crustacean Extermination. It takes place at this shack just on the western coast outside the Dawnstar. So you kind of approach, then this happens. Bunch of mud crabs come out of the sea, coming at you. Yep, just kill as they come. They, there aren't that many. They do seem to be tougher than normal mud crabs, have a bit more health. Yep, so the quest marker then takes you to this guy who has a journal on him. He's called Savior. And he apparently is a necromancer who has been practicing on mud crabs. Need something? Araya does conclude this quest. We sure showed them, eh? Thanks for your part. Remember, she that. has an interest in mud crabs, so she does take a bit of an interest I've come in this to rely one. on you. There's something I want you to have. It was my father's. It would be my honor if you carried it. May the gods keep you. And you get this really, really good reward. It's the first non-regular fishing rod, the Alakir fishing rod. I'm supposed to deliver. Yep. And now a courier approaches. Let's see here. Looks like that's it. Got to go. So it's a letter from Mila from back in White Run, who now wants a second goldfish. So this is called Two of a Kind, so I show you here, this is Mara's Eye Pond, it also is goldfish. So here you hop in, that's what the goldfish looks like, and you I grab one, and you head back that's to Mila. Wow, and nice. similar routine, she heads over to her aquarium, where she's got the first goldfish, and how these goldfish are making it from ponds all the way here without water, I don't know, but they are. And you get a special reward, a note that will lead you to Mila's very special treasure, which is a little cache that she has that she that keeps secret, where she keeps some cool stuff. It's apparently up near Dragon's Reach. Be careful. So let's take a walk here up to Dragon's Reach so we can check out Mila's little cache here. This is a, a nice use of an area that nothing else in the game really uses. There's nothing really over on this western edge of Dragon's Reach. Probably what Mila was thinking when she picked it to be her little hideout. And she has some little goodies here. Now let's head back to Varia to get some new of details course. on the quest. All in this note. All right then. Ah, Bounty Fang Tusk. Yep, so East March is having a problem with a specific horker named Fang Tusk. This is from the steward of Windhelm, Yorleaf, who's commissioning whoever receives this bounty to eliminate Fang Tusk. The idea is to use an Arctic Grayling as bait to lure him somewhere, then take him out. Here's a closer look at the Alakir fishing rod we got for completing Varia's last quest. At Tusk Terror, here we are. Just oh, 
near the Winter War. Yep, for this instance, because the Arctic Grayling isn't the star of the quest, I just grabbed one, but I do show you how to catch one with a rod later. So now just a short jump away from here is where the player can encounter Fang Tusk while using the Arctic Grayling as bait, like I mentioned earlier. It's just on this edge of the eastern half of the delta. There's this rock here, convenient for placing the fish. Right there. And place the grayling, and here comes Fang Tusk. Oh, what's that? That's a horker using it, the the vampiric spell. It's really dead. Uh, we gotta report back to Yarleaf, tell him what's going on, and he will compensate the player for completion of the bounty. Thank you. Here, this is for you. Need something? Now back to Varia for the next one. To it's all in this note. All right then. Ah, fishing tutor. So this one's pretty simple. And like it says, fishing t fishing lessons. We're just going to give this lady some fishing Indeed. lessons. If that's what you there want. is a convenient I'll spot in the soon. city of Markar for this. Yep, there is we there are. Anything else you need? Of course. So only fish will count towards the objective. However, um, I also am fairly certain that while this quest is active, that this spot will only yield fish. I, I've run several tests. I have while this quest is active, I have failed to get it to come up with an item. You've done well. yeah, I think I do just catch free salmon, then the quest concludes. What was that? I never would have believed it. Of salmon, good. So, uh, what I saw there, I want to mention, is there's the splashes, and then there's the little strike. For an item, that won't happen. If an item, there will be a large pause, and eventually you'll hit the stack just to end up reeling in some piece of junk. So, if you don't see those splashes when you're fishing, I guess I more than likely place. that that means you've fished the spot dry, and now you've got to wait a certain number of hours. I think 24 is usually what I'll do, just to reset mm -hmm. the spot. Now, back to Varia. It's all in this note. All right, then. Ah, Lost Wares. Yep, so just on the southern end of of where Karf River splits to to form the islands that Skyhaven Temple is on, the Khajiit Caravan ran into some trouble and they lost some valuable uh, drinks. So now I've got to fish them up. So what you might consider is fishing the spot dry to guarantee you're going to get items. Yep, so, yeah, so because there was no strike for a long time, I knew that would be an item, so I lifted it up. And one more. And one more.
and there we have it. Time to bring him back to Rasad. Excellent. And now, please. And he rewards actually the Ring of Khaji, which is a throwback item for Elder Scrolls veterans. Up here's Varaya again for the next quest. Seafood feast. Now this one is a little bit more intricate. There's a few fish you've got to catch, and you also need to gather some ingredients to prepare Gizli, who lives in solitude. She's the girl that's always saying, uh, you can just call me Eric or sister, everyone does. So so we're gonna make her a feast to celebrate, uh, I think, people paying their rent on time. So we're back at the Winter War. This is a place where you can grab an Arctic char. I do show you how you get one with a rod later. And you need some bits from a mud crab. You look like yep. So for yourself. This is where I bought my ingredients. If you're a experienced Skyrim player, you may know like where you can kind of get stuff. I did want to show here that there are some solitude vendors that should have everything you need. You need Arctic char, crab meat, Tell crab me legs, leek, potato, so garlic, fresh. salt pile, Everything and butter. Really. And he's got a salt pile. Then the barkeep has the game. butter. Let's sate that appetite. Mm -hmm. Now, make cooked arctic char. This cooking station, by the way, is just in the house next door at Angeline's Aromatics. Uh, any cooking station will do, do just fine. Houses have them, campsites have them. Now the table upstairs at the Winking Skeever. You can leave the food and Gizli will show up. Here she comes. Gotta wait one hour. And she leaves payment and a nice note. And this will complete that quest. Yes. Now back to Varia for the next of one. It's all in this note. Uh, dwarven right. investigation. So this bounty was written by Calselmo, the Dwemer expert who lives in the Understone Keep. So apparently up near Bronzewater Cave, there's this weird apparatus, which is new. This area was expanded upon for this Creation Club add-on. So this journal here found just outside Bronzewater Cave says, hey, there's these shiny items in the water. We can't seem to get to them. A dwarven fishing rod might help. So they went off to find one. So just a bit west of Athan, there's this ruined tower. This is another effective use of a place in the game that doesn't really get any attention from any from anything in the base game, so it's being used here. And the schematic's only a short way inside, it's right here. Now I've gotta Good deliver to Cal Salmo. Still has such fine yes. Hmm. No, that's probably not of any use. Now what the player does here is ah, maneuver yes. their is. way into Thank getting so him much. to craft a dwarven fishing rod to okay. serve as payment for the bounty. In 24 hours, it'll be ready. I've been holding on to this for you. Here, I hope you like it. Oh, now do be careful. Now let's take a look at the rod before we head back to Bronzewater Cave. Here it is. This rod makes it more likely that one will snag on items and reel those in. So for certain very specific objectives like this, where you want items, you're going to use it. 
here, I'm using it to reel in those shiny things that the journal mentions. Now you saw there were splashes, but no strike within a few seconds, so I knew, okay, that's going to be an item. Same thing here, some splashes, but, but no strike. Right, at this point, I'm like, all right, so it's going to be an item, and there it is. Now I've got both, and all you got to do is hook them up to these doohickeys here. And a chest will rise out of Lake Yorgrim. Oh, now be ready, because spiders will also come out of those ducks. And there they are. Now, in this chest, there are some battle axes called Urkafans battle axes, which, which unlocks a new forging Your style. So, heading back to Riften, yes. and like Pariah is nowhere to be found, and this courier says she has this letter that's for you. So, apparently, the place where Earlier, I took care of those mud crabs. There is another wave, and it's gotten worse. Baraya tells of a battle going on there, so it's like, man, gotta get over there and help out. This quest is called Wave Breaker. Yep. There I am, back at that shack. And yeah, look at those catapults. So I decided to conjure some Dramora just to help kind of kind of keep the mud crabs back because figured if they advance too much then the Dawnstar guards will start getting involved and they'll start dying and it'll just get that much harder. Yep, so they just keep coming in, in these waves. Is the, the lady there dressed in hide armor. Right, now that that's done, you kind of rendezvous with her back in this house. It may be a little bit buggy, so you may have to shove some people out of the way to get her in there. And oh god, what's that? Yep, so there's a giant crab spectral being. There. So now some of these crabs are holding lanterns, so grab them up while you can, because what's going to end up happening is you're going to launch them with the catapults at that giant spectral crab. So after I've got a few, I I head toward a catapult. So just to push the A button down and launch. And look at it go. Gotta do it six times. Back to the catapults. Just like before, just gonna A, A again, launch. Uh, 
and last one for the win. There we go. Right, battle's over. Time to check in with Varia. Good job out there. Glad you were with us. Thanks. Stay sharp out there. Not as now she got a report to the Jarl. For me, it's Jarl Skald. You had it in you. Here, take this for a job well done. Looking for anything. Looking and that completes the quest. Back in Riften, another courier arrives. Let's see here. Looks like that's it. Have to go. The Imperials think we need. Another letter from Faraya. Now this letter tells the player that Varia is retiring from her position at the Riften Fishery to open up a crab shack. And she needs some materials in order to build her little stand in the market. So the player is given this final quest called End of the Line and they generously provide the materials for Varia to build her stand. Simple chopping up some wood. You've been a good friend to me. Now, a blacksmith should have materials that damage. you'll need to do this. It will require one core on trimming bit. Seven iron ingots. And 18 pieces of firewood. Now, under building materials, you gotta build some iron fitlings, four in total. One lock and 20 nails, but two sets. And that's everything. I head back to Bri, and she is very grateful, although doesn't say very much in that regard. Thanks. I'll see you there. And in 24 hours, she has her new stand set up next to Grauka. Nope. Sorry. I'm waiting. It would seem so. I wanted to give you this, a token of my appreciation. And this concludes Varia's questline of fishing bounties. Well, that concludes the first part of the complete Skyrim fishing guide. Angler acquaintances and Varia's fishing bounties brought to yes. you by KeenGamer.com. Be sure to check out part two for Swims in Deep Waters quest line along with the Radiant Bounty objectives. And also check out Tidings. the rest of KeenGamer.com for the written version of the guide that includes my complete map of every fishing spot in Skyrim. Along with the great news stories, opinion pieces, reviews, and more on KeenGamer.com. Thank you. See you next time.